You've probably seen one of these capsules before. They're over 800 psi of compressed CO2 gas. That's six litres of air held in there. Or all of these bottles. I once saw a backyard scientist video where we made a rocket out of these. So I thought, what about making a plane? The inspiration came from the C-130, which uses rocket assisted takeoff. I could use model rockets, however they're quite expensive, and these CO2 couches only cost about 20p each. I thought I'd 3D print the plane and see how we get on. The first item to attend to was how to break the seal on the rear of the capsule. We designed this 3D printed mechanism, which used a couple of springs and a screw, which when released would fire into the capsule. One of the problems with the capsules is they're not exactly the most stable once they get released. <laughs> to overcome this, we printed a sledge, which would slide down some aluminium extrusion, in turn holding the plane. It was designed so when under power it would lock in, but once the capsule ran out, it would drop away allowing the plane to fly. The plane was printed in colour fab, lightweight PLA, which foams up, making it about a quarter of the weight of a normal PLA. It also prints really nicely. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that, was easy. Oh, that is nice, mate. That's not. It's pretty, pretty strong now. Pretty strong now. Oh, you put it on like that, okay. It's probably about right. Yeah. Should we try that? Let's give it a go. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> she has dismantled. Perfect. That's nice. So when it pushes, it'll lock in and it'll just go. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. Oh, yes! Yes! It was clear the wings needed a higher infill, but it was looking good. I 3D printed a new hollow nose cone to allow for some glue for CFG balancing. Three, two, one, to the moon! Oh. <laughs> no! How long did that take to print? How <laughs> we just exploded it? <laughs> we waited another six hours and reprinted it, only to find out. <laughs> that was literally an exact repeat. And printed it again. One. I think it's clear we need to fly these in a bigger place. But at least I managed to retrieve it from the tree. Yeah. Whilst waiting for another plane to print, we decided to go down a different route, using some foam board to make a wing design. Which worked okay. I made a new design which incorporated a CO2 capsule inside the fuselage. However, it was a bit of a nightmare to get both capsules to fire simultaneously. Now you might have noticed on all of the planes, there's a very large nose up moment as they take off. This for two reasons. The first one, Sammy's not the best plane designer and I put the CG a little bit too far backwards. The second one, however, is quite interesting. You can see on a jet airliner, this 787 for example, the engines are underneath the wings, causing that pitch power couple. As thrust is applied, there's a nose up moment and the thrust is reduced as a nose down. To overcome this, I've reprinted the plane. It's now much longer, allowing the capsule to sit at the front, causing a forward C of G, which should counteract that nose up moment. However, once the capsule drops away, the C of G is then correct, allowing the plane to glide. That's the theory anyway. Let's see how it gets on. Three, two, one. Woo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> well, that's done the trick, and it flew over 50 feet. It exceeded all expectations, so all the cameras were a bit too close. Even with the new modifications, there was still a large nose up, but it was flying pretty well. I think I might revisit this in the future and make a multi-engine plane. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks very much for watching.